Welcome back to another example video with finding the eigenvalues and eigenvectors. This is the last one before we move on to the next lecture. This is going to be a little bit longer. Um, hopefully it does not take much more time. Well, I mean, for starters, this is a 3x3 three three matrix. And the ones that we have done in the past, those were a triangular matrix. So the eigenvalues were pretty much straightforward. This, however, isn't. So we're just going to go ahead and get started and show you the process on how to find these eigenvalues and eigenvectors. And so let's just get straight into it. So if you remember, it is it's the steps are the same. We are going to find the characteristic polynomial. So we have lambda i minus a and take the determinant and that's going to be equal to zero. And so when you plug it in into the, the matrix, you'll have 1 minus lambda, negative 2, negative 6, and then 2, 5, 6, oh, not 5, 2, oh, <laughs> 2, 5, minus lambda and 6 and then negative 2 negative 2 negative 3 minus lambda and again this has to be equal to 0 also I kind of messed up this is supposed to be a minus lambda i <laughs> and so okay cool so now we, we we can't do much with this in terms of like finding the determinant so we're going to pretty much have to do it like the, the long way so by square reduction and so we will have one minus lambda oh we're going to do it across the the, the first row we're going to have row minus lambda and then multiply by 5 minus lambda times negative 3 minus lambda and then minus 2 times choose a different color here and here and so that will be negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 3 minus lambda minus negative 6 times negative 2 which is 12 and so the negatives cancel out and put this and so <clears throat> we have plus negative two times the last one which would be this one and so be negative two times six is negative 12 minus and then we have the the negative six so that becomes positive so it becomes six times five minus lambda and we all of this has to equal zero and so if what we can do is just kind of like simplify everything in each section so we have this section this section and this section so we are going to do the one minus lambda then we're going to multiply this part and so this would be negative 15 plus lambda squared minus wait negative 5 3 minus 2 lambda uh, did not write the minus 2 minus 2 lambda and I think I just realized that I did not oof kind of messed up so <laughs> I left out a single part so this part is correct we are just missing the determinant of the first one and I completely forgot to incorporate it (laughs) 
Okay, this is kind of getting annoying. There we go. And so we'll have... So we have the negative 1 lambda times 5 minus lambda times a negative 3 minus lambda. And then we just need the these two. So the 6 times negative 2 is 12. Or negative 12, which is minus, which would be plus 12. And so this here becomes plus 12. <laughs> and then we'll have minus 2 times 6 plus 2 lambda minus 12 minus 2 times negative 12 plus 30 minus 6 lambda. So again, we're just going to simplify this even further. Okay, so here's what happens. We can simplify this further and just have one cubic equation. And then we can just start like factoring out a cubic. But I'm pretty sure that most of you don't remember how to factor out like higher degrees. So we're going to, what we're going to do is we're going to have this. We're going to try to make this into having a quadratic multiplied by a linear function and so hopefully that will kind of make things easier because we can factor out a, a quadratic and a linear just linear and so what we're going to do is we're going to leave this part alone we are not going to multiply this we are going to reduce or simplify it but we're not going to multiply it, the one minus lambda so this stays the same we have lambda squared minus two lambda minus three and then we have um, minus 12. Well, let's simplify the in inside even more further. We have 2 lambda minus 6. And then minus 2 times negative 6 lambda plus 18. And so now we can a different color and then simplify everything on the right hand side so we'll have negative 4 lambda plus 12 plus 12 lambda minus 36 and then this further simplifies to 8 lambda minus 24 and that's that's pretty much it for the right oh not really we can factor out an eight so we have eight times lambda minus three and then that's pretty much it for the right hand side the left hand side we're just going to bring it down we're going to factor out this portion and see if we can try to get a lambda minus three and so this would be a lambda minus three times lambda plus one and then this would become plus and we can see that we can we have a lambda minus three and a lambda minus three so we can factor this out and so we'll have a lambda minus three multiplied by lambda minus one times lambda plus one plus 8 and so that would just be equal to lambda minus 3 times lambda squared plus minus 1 okay Yes. No. No, 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 no. That's wrong. I flipped. So, I flipped. <laughs> it is, keep this, lambda minus 3 multiplied by 1 minus lambda times lambda plus 1. See, that's where I messed up. Plus 8. 
And so that would just equal to lambda minus 3 multiplied by 1 minus lambda squared plus 8. And so this becomes 9 minus lambda squared or 3 minus lambda times 3 plus lambda. And there you go. We can just bring down the lambda minus 3. And we see that our lambda is going to be equal to 3. And then 3 minus lambda to equal to 0. Another 3. And then the last one will be negative 3. Or lambda 1 is going to be equal to negative 3. And lambda 2 is going to equal to 3 with a multiplicity. Or I just put mult. Mult of 2. And that's pretty much it in terms of finding the eigenvalues. And so to find the eigenvectors, we're just going to have to plug that in to the matrix. We're just going to go ahead and do that with the negative 3 and 3. So now we're going to plug in the, the eigen values eigenvalues into the function not the function vector not vector matrix so when lambda we're going to do the negative three since that one has a multiplicity of one so when you plug it in back to the matrix we will have what will we have one five negative three okay so we have 1 minus, oh, 1 minus negative 3, so we're adding. So 1 plus 3 is 4. 5 plus 3 is 8. And 1, 1, 3. Negative 3 plus 3 is 0. And then we have, what was it, negative 6, 6. And then negative 2. 2. Was it 2? 2, negative 2, 2. Okay. So this is 2. This is negative 2. And this is also negative 2. All right. Cool. So, again, if you saw in our last video, there is a, like, a more, not better method, but a quicker method to finding the eigen vector. And so we're going to go ahead and do that one. I did not want to put this in rubber decessional form. This is a lot of work. So this is kind of where eyeballing kind of helps with the higher dimension. So our vector will be, because this is a zero, because that's a zero, the third one can be pretty can be anything for now. But we can cancel out these two by making these ones. So it'll be one times one. So we have negative six plus six. So the first two will be one and one. And then our third one, we just need to figure out how to zero these two. So we'll have four plus two is six minus two times something. That'll be three. So three is a potential. And then right here we have negative two plus eight, which is six minus two times something, which again will be three. So that means our third one will be three. So much quicker. Now we have to deal with the second one. When it lambda is equal to 3, this has a multiplicity of 2. When we have, well, this is this is something we are going to discuss when we do diagonalization, which is our next lecture. Um, our linear, no, algebraic multiplicity is equal to 2. And... We want to find the geometric multiplicity. And we know for a fact that the algebraic has to be greater than or equal to geometric. If it is greater than, then we will have an issue. So best case scenario here is that it's equal to 2. And so we're going to plug this in. We are going to have negative, no, 1 minus 3, negative 2, 
negative 2, negative 6, so it becomes 6. 5 minus 3 is 2, 2, negative 2, negative 2, and then we have negative 3 minus 3, which is negative 6. It, negative 6. And that's pretty good <laughs> because we can see that the first row or the second and third row is a linear combination of the first row. So that means the nullity, the dimensions of the nullity is going to be equal to 2, which is what our geometric multiplicity is. So that means we are going to have two um, eigenvectors in this matrix. And so to find those, we are going to simply eyeball it again. <laughs> um, so what we can do is we can cancel out the negative 2 and 2 by just multiplying it by 1 and then making this 0. So our first one will just be 1, 1, 0. And then our other eigenvector is we can just shift everything to the right. And instead of using this negative 2 to cancel out this 2, we can just use this negative 2. So that means this will just be 0. And so it will be 0, 1, 1. And that is our eigenvectors for this matrix. And so our answer is going to be lambda is equal to negative 3 with its eigenvector equaling to, was it 1, 1, 3? 1, 1, 3. And then our eigenvector equaling to 3 with eigenvector, eigenvalue equal to 3, eigenvector equaling to 1, 1, 0. And the good thing is, is that these eigenvectors that we found when it was, when the eigenvalue was equal to 3, is that these vectors are linearly independent from each other. And so that this, is, this will give us a eigenbasis that is this one, this one, and this one. And that's, that's all we pretty much need. That is it for this video. It did take a little bit longer, but I mean, I did mention this was gonna be a long example. This, and honestly, this is where uh, the eyeball, you kind of have to eyeball the, the kernel comes in handy you save so much time you have to do this in row reduce echelon form and then just kind of find a kernel like that you can just eyeball it and this is kind of like guessing and so that's pretty much it we are done with eigen well finding eigenvalues and eigenvectors we are going to continue on with this chapter which will be the next video and it's going to be diagonalization and then again we're just going to continue and that will be pretty much it so as of now, I'll see you in the next one.